Are you ready? Because we're going five pounds down every four weeks in 2022, and today we're losing weight even faster. Grab your dumbbells and let's go. All right, beautiful bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving, and that means that we're gonna have our dumbbells completely out of the way. <laughs> I remembered, and let's get started with some arm circles with high knees. You guys, welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like self-love. And do you know what really feels like self-love? Uh-huh, losing weight with the 5-0 method, where every single day we do five things that make you say, oh, I had no idea that losing weight could be this easy and fun. Yeah, every single day we eat the right number of calories, which is not necessarily less than you've been eating before. We drink the right amount of water, which is half your body weight in pounds in fluid ounces of water. We get the right amount of sleep. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. By going to bed at the same time every night, waking up at the same time every morning and not fretting too much about how much of that in between was actual sleep. We are also exercising moderately with a workout like this one, which is not necessarily more than you were doing before. And my friend, we manage our minds by finding our thoughts and deciding if they're helpful. And I have a helpful thought for you today that is one of my absolute favorites. You've probably heard me say something at least sort of like it before. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes. My helpful thought today is my body is amazing. And I want you to hear that like your body, not my body, your body. Say it with me though. My body is amazing. Now, some of you, I know for sure some of you went directly to, oh my gosh, no, it's not. And I will tell you that if you cannot not hear that skepticism, this is not a helpful thought for you. A helpful thought is one that feels really, really good. An unhelpful thought is one that feels lousy, feels like, oh, I couldn't possibly believe that. Let me tell you really quickly about our workout, and then I'm going to tell you all about why your body is amazing while we're working out. We are walking today, and we have our weights here because we are doing some weighted work as well. We are boosting that burn, getting a full body burn with cardio and strength. I've got the handy dandy gym boss set for intervals of one minute long. That is generous. Let that inform you of your pace, your weights, your everything. But we're going to get started with some walking, my friends. <sighs> okay. Oh, also the really exciting thing. There's no repeat. Because they're such long, generous intervals, we're gonna get plenty of work done. We're not, we're not trying to do anything like too fast today. We're getting a nice walk on, getting some cardio, getting some steps, feeling really good. But when it comes time for strength, we're gonna pick up our dumbbells. We're gonna really think about that strength. We're gonna pull in our core. We're gonna have a really excellent form. We're going to let our heart rate go up and down as it does when we do both cardio and strength. And that is one of the first ways in which your body is a Amazing. And let me tell you, I know some of you, when you had that skeptical reaction right at first, you were like, oh, no, 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 because you were thinking maybe about what your body looks like. I make absolutely no promises about what your body looks like, even though, frankly, you do look amazing also. But what I'm talking about today and why this is such a helpful thought for me, why it's so realistic, so truthful, here we go with letter X's. We're going to make the top half of the letter X up here. And then the bottom half of the letter X, pull in your core. We're moving slow, and this is a minute. <laughs> so you might want lighter weights. I intentionally went with a very long interval today. First of all, just so we can get plenty of work done without having to repeat. I really like no repeat exercise or no repeat workouts. I also just really like sinking into the strength portion, letting my body do what it does, which is to say that it adjusts to everything you do. Have you ever thought about what a miracle your body is? I mean, not just like in the abstract, but like the really specific things that your body does. Your heart rate accommodates what you are doing. Your body knows when you are doing something that is faster or different than just simply sitting around and it sends more oxygen out in the form of more blood. Your heart pumps faster when you are doing more work. Go ahead and put those dumbbells down and we're coming back to walking, which is going to bring your heart right back, back up, right? I'm going to move around a little bit. So you guys, I have completely worn, not really a hole, but there is definitely a part of the rug here that's like, oh, that's where Paula walks all the time. So I'm just going to kind of walk around a little bit, kind of for my own fun and also so that, well, it's at some point, I'm probably just going to turn the rug all the way around. But here's the thing. 
about your body, knowing what to do. Your body has a process for everything. Now, I worked in an office many, 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 many years ago. I was an administrative assistant. This was before I even had kids. So, and my kids are, oh gosh, how old are they? 23 and 22. So this was a long time ago. By the way, when it beeps again, we're gonna do cross body crunches. We're gonna have those dumbbells. Elbows out nice and wide. We're gonna bring our opposite elbow towards our opposite knee, crunching down in the middle. So your body, <laughs> knows how to adjust for every single thing you are doing. When I worked in an office, I did not actually work in HR, but I worked in, I was an administrative assistant, so I, mean, I did all the paperwork, all the typing, all the filing, all the stuff. And when I got that job, I remember being handed this folder of all the different processes, how to do the mail, how to order all the supplies, how to do, I mean, like the specifics of what I was doing. I worked in a I worked in a temporary agency. I was not a temp, but I worked in an agency where we sent out office temps. Such a fun job. Oh my gosh, I got to meet so many people. Plenty of people to talk to. <laughs> Lots of fun. But that folder was just for my job. And my job, I mean, honestly, it was pretty simple. So can you imagine the SOPs, the standard operating procedures, what that manual must look like for your body to you know, grow hair and make your blood pump and have your body figure out what to do with oxygen. Here we come back to walking. Like every single process in your body does what it's supposed to do and then when you eat food, it does something else. When you drink water, it does something else. When you go to sleep, it does something else. I mean, maybe not like wildly different, but it's always doing something and it's always making adjustments. Your body is literally doing billions of processes all day long, every day, from the minute you were born till the minute you're not. Like, did I just blow your mind? Because I blow my mind every time I think about this. When it beeps again, we're gonna do deadlifts. Y'all know how to do deadlifts. You're gonna pull in your core nice and tight. You're gonna keep your back nice and straight. You're gonna let your booty do the work. Push your booty back behind you. Pull your booty back underneath you. When your hips are driving the motion, your torso really can't help but come forward. But when you think about it as the motion coming from your hips, it helps you use the correct muscles. And here's the thing about your muscles, my friend, here we go with deadlifts, <sighs> making sure that you are breathing and slowing it down, really just letting your body do this work. The thing about your muscles, here's my favorite thing, is they know how to get stronger. Like, that's crazy, right? Like your muscles have a job, they're supposed to move, they're supposed to do things, but not only do they do their job, but when you ask them to, they get stronger. What? Because your body, well, frankly, your body's lazy. <laughs> which is my other favorite thing about your body. It's part of why it's amazing because your body is actually really lazy. It wants to be very efficient at everything it does. So that's why it gets stronger. <laughs> like it makes you have stronger muscles so that if you do that exact same work again, it won't be as hard. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? Your body's funny too. I mean, I mean, come on. I know, that, I know that you can come up with plenty of examples on your own of why bodies are funny. First of all, some parts of us look funny. Some parts of us make funny noises. Some parts of us do kind of funny things. I mean, why do you even have a gallbladder if you can take it out? Why do you have an appendix if you don't need it anymore? Like your body's just kind of funny, but that's part of what makes it amazing. And here's the thing about this really particular helpful thought. When you start thinking about what your body can do, instead of just automatically going to what it looks like, it opens your mind to the possibility that your body could be really fantastic, really beautiful, really miraculous, really complex, really amazing because it is. And that thought can really help you with weight loss. And here's why, but first of all, I'm gonna tell you, coming up next, we're gonna do cross back curls. So you're gonna have your elbows like really tucked in tight to your waist here. We're gonna step back like a curtsy lunge, but we're not really coming down into a lunge. I mean, I mean, you know, <laughs> first of all, cause I'll, first of all, cause I'll step into something. <laughs> But second of all, because I want to make sure that you are moving in a way that makes sense for you. If you want to come all the way down on a curtsy lunge, please go ahead. If you'd rather not, this is a perfectly lovely uh, 
modification, I guess, is the word, except that it's not really even a modification. This is an exercise in itself. You're using the exact same muscles, specifically your side butt <laughs> muscles, as you do when you come all the way down. You are also, of course, getting some good biceps work here. This complex work that we do all comes through your core, so make sure that you've got your core pulled in nice and tight. You're breathing. <sighs> You're letting your amazing body do what it does best, getting stronger because it's lazy. <laughs> But here's the thing, put those weights down, let's come back to walking. Here's the thing about why that thought can be really specifically helpful for weight loss and why I even called this faster weight loss. Here's the thing about losing weight. The reason I tell you to manage your mind is because your mind really does affect your body physically. Like the thoughts that you think create reactions in your body. Really specifically, your thoughts create your feelings, like the things that you feel, but also even those feelings, they drive actions, which then has you like doing certain things. If you don't feel motivated, for example, you won't go work out, so your body won't make those adaptations. Your thoughts create results in your body. Or yeah, your thoughts create results in your body. <laughs> I was about to say something else about your body and I thought, did I say the right word? So your mind also plays tricks on you sometimes. Coming up next, we're coming up right now, we're gonna do high knee press-ups. So you're gonna bring up one high knee while bringing up the opposite arm across your body in a press-up. Pulling in that core, this is balance work. I love to get in some good balance work while we are walking, while we are getting stronger. First of all, this workout really specifically, it is so full body, it is so efficient, so effective. Yes, it absolutely can help you lose weight faster, except for the fact that the fastest way to lose weight is to make sure that you're in your caloric deficit, eating the right number of calories, not less, my friends. Not less, because, because your body is amazing. It worries about starving to death. When you eat too little, it'll actually store fat so that you don't die. Can you imagine how amazing your body's processes are that it can figure things like that out? Like, oh, well, here's how we can stay alive in a long, cold winter. We'll just go ahead and store some extra energy. All right, cool, that's easy enough. Like, your body's amazing, but here's the thing. Your brain, your thoughts, create reactions in your body. And when you think, I hate my body, I don't love my body, my body's ugly, my body's weird, my body's gross, any of those thoughts that, let's be honest, we all think them, none of them are helpful thoughts though. So this one, putting you in the mind of not what I look like, but what my body does for me on a daily basis, all day, every day, and realizing that it is amazing, can help move you towards thoughts like, I love my body, my body is beautiful, my body is fantastic, my body is a miracle, I'm a walking, talking, thinking, blinking miracle who, by the way, is gonna do a step back front punch next. Not a step back fruit punch, but I mean, kind of. <laughs> Grab those dumbbells. All right, weights are right here at your like waist, whatever. Okay, I really had to think about this. This time, we're going same side of your body, just because that makes it a little bit harder. Sometimes we go across your body, sometimes we go same side of body. If you got started going across your body, do not worry about this. This one, for me, feels I don't know, more natural, I guess, when we're doing same side, because I do like that little bit of a challenge. You know, my body is lazy, but my brain, <laughs> My brain doesn't mind a challenge. My brain doesn't mind doing something a little bit tougher, especially for, relatively speaking, I mean, I know a minute is a long interval. Are you feeling a long interval? <laughs> yes. But also, relative to, let's say, the rest of your day, the rest of your life, one minute, not very long. Now, here's the part of the workout where I'm gonna tell you, if you need to drop your weights, drop your weights. This front punch, one of the toughest moves for me personally, it's that top of the shoulder. Here we go, put those weights down, we're coming back to walking. That top of the shoulder, I used to call those curling iron muscles back when I needed to use a curling iron. I don't need more. <laughs> but here's the thing, my friends. Your body is amazing. Your body has a plan. So 
when your body has its own standard operating procedures manual, we, with our brains, sometimes think, hey, I ate in a caloric deficit yesterday, I should lose 10 pounds. Like, come on, body, get on board here. Or we think to ourselves, okay, I'm doing everything, and over the course of time, my body should just very naturally come in this totally like linear, straight line down in weight. But your body, because it has billions of processes every day, your weight changes constantly. It fluctuates up and down, up and down, up and down, all the way while it's going down over time. Thinking about, oh, my body just never does what I want it to do, not very helpful. Here we go with a split stance row. I'm going to have my left leg forward first. Okay, and rowing means that we're rowing up. So your elbows are pointed backwards. Of course, your core is pulled in nice and tight. We've got that nice wide split stance that throws off your balance a little tiny bit. If you'd like to have your foot, your back foot down on the ground, you absolutely can. It's more difficult for me actually to put my foot down because of flexibility issues. And it's also more difficult for my balance with that back foot up a little bit. So combining my lack of flexibility <laughs> with my desire for a more challenging workout, I have my heel of my back foot up. As long as all 10 toes are facing the same way, you, my friends, are doing a fantastic job with this. In fact, you always are because your body is amazing. No matter what you are doing, your body is trying its best. You know that brain-body connection where you're trying to ask your body to like, okay, I'm in this weird stance, I'm picking up my arms, I'm putting them back down again, I'm gonna start walking again, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Like. Your body is constantly figuring out what you are doing, what you might do next, what your body needs, how to help you, for example, cool off because I'm feeling very sweaty right now. Like, your body has processes for that. So when you are getting on the scale every day, which is something that we do in the 5-0 method, and I will tell you, I know not everybody loves to do that. I encourage you to do it so that you can find your thoughts about the number and decide if they're helpful. If that doesn't seem like something that's in your wheelhouse right now, depending on where you are in your weight loss journey, you never have to do any of the things in the 5-0 method. I present them to you as options that you can make, just like our workouts, work for you. You guys, when it be, again, we're gonna do the split stance fly the other direction. But here's the thing, when you're thinking, my body is amazing, I wonder which processes caused today's weight. Because it's not just what you eat. It's not just what you're doing. It's not just the things that you notice. So we're gonna be in that split stance with the other direction, other foot forward rather, and we're gonna do flies this time. Ooh, doggies. Speaking of muscles that I feel, feel free. You can drop weights, you can go a little slower, you can just really take the time to pull in your core, making sure that you're not shrugging your shoulders up, making sure that your head is not thrusting forward because you're actually using your neck muscles. Really thinking about this work coming from the middle of your back. Think about squeezing your shoulder blades together as though you're trying to make them touch. They can't, they won't, please don't, but when I think about it that way, that's where I can pull the work from the exact right spot. The other thing that will help is to make sure that your core is pulled in nice and tight. Whether you're balancing here in this split stance or you've got all your, all your feet down. <laughs> There's only two of them. But you know, you might have, you might have more than that <laughs> coming back to walking. But making sure that the work is always coming from your core. You know, that's another way that your body is amazing. Have you ever thought about that? One of the reasons why I tell you constantly to pull in your core is because that's where all your strength comes from. You are stronger in your arms when your core is strong. How amazing is that? Like your body can pull power from one part of your body to help other parts do their job better. What? I mean, here's the thing. Here's the thing about weight loss. This is what we're actually asking our body to do on purpose. We have stored energy on our body. Now here's the thing, of course you need some stored energy. Having no fat at all, I, I don't, well you wouldn't exist. I don't know exactly what the like lower limit is, but it's, it's actually pretty high. You need fat on your body. When it beeps again, by the way, we're doing a complicated thing. Front raise, side raise, side kick. So front raise, side raise, and then the side that is the front raise arm is the side raise leg or side kick leg. This is one of those ones where I say side kick, but we're not really trying to kick. We're just raising your leg. Oh my gosh. 
Excellent, excellent job, you guys. When it beeps again, we are going back to walking. This is our last strength interval. You have done such an amazing job. We are gonna do walk one more interval and then I have one final thing for us that is a little bit tougher. And by a little bit tougher, I actually mean a lot tougher. <laughs> because that's what I like to do. I'm enjoying my body's processes to get stronger, to get better, to make improvements and adaptations because I ask it to. <sighs> Making sure that your core is pulled in so that you can be stronger in your arms and your legs by having a strong core. But that's what I was talking about. When your body has stored energy, let's come back to walking. I'm gonna cool this down just a little bit, like it's just a little bit lower pace for this because of course for our finisher we're doing balance so I want to make sure that my heart rate's not too high so that I can actually focus on the balance when you ask your body to, to do what you do all day long you know live your life walk your dog do this kind of a workout do your job do I don't know chores around the house do you do chores around your house I don't <laughs> Sometimes I do. <laughs> but living your life, being active and inactive sometimes, watching TV, doing crafts, like doing whatever you do, you are asking your body to allocate energy in a way that it wasn't already doing. You're asking your body to do something kind of different. One of its processes is to use that fuel when it needs to. It's amazing, right? Your body knows what to do all the time. Hey, let's put your hands up. We're gonna do overhead drinky birds. Here's what I want you to think about. Those shoulder blades, pull them down and together so that your biceps are right up next to your ears. We're gonna come up into a drinky bird. Oops, I'm not gonna kick the dog. We're gonna come up into a drinky bird wherever you can get to while you have your hands overhead. For me, that's not quite as far as I can get to without it. Now, obviously, if you can't get your hands over your head and have the balance, first of all, what you can do is just have your foot come up like an inch or two. Keep your toe on the ground, totally okay. Or you can have one hand down, grab it onto a chair, grab it onto a table, grab it onto a wall. Whatever it takes to practice your balance. And by the way, of course, we're going back and forth between the two. We are definitely not trying to do a whole minute on each side. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No way. <laughs> I like a challenge, but I'm not that into a challenge, my friends. I like just enough challenge, just like your body. Too much challenge for your body, kind of like under eating, is too much for your body. That was the last time it was gonna beep. Oh my gosh, what a good, good job you did. When you challenge your body the exact right amount, by eating that exact right amount of a caloric deficit, not over exercising because too much stress doesn't get released, doesn't get relieved. Your body has processes for that and it involves inflammation and weight gain and fat storage. When we're doing everything just right, you're amazing, beautiful, miraculous body will release weight as fast as it can. You know, your body always wants to do things. Again, it's lazy. <laughs> to do things quickly, efficiently, it wants to get this done. Let's just, come on, move along here. Nothing to see, let's go. Your body will lose weight faster when you're doing things in that right, gentle space where your brain is also on board. Let's open it up. Oh my gosh. Let's close it up. Give yourself a hug and a pat on your amazing back, my friends. You're amazing, you personally, not just your body. You are amazing and you did such a great job today and I'm so glad you worked out with me today. Dun, 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 number 16 overall of a proposed 65 of the year. And it's only proposed because I haven't filmed them all. <laughs> but the first of this five day series, I've got four more coming out right now. And then in four weeks, we'll have another five and four weeks after that, we'll have another five and another five and another five. And I can't do math, so I'm not gonna say how many more there are, but there's some more. Thank you so much for working out with me. Make sure you click that subscribe button before you go and I'll see you tomorrow.